Hey everyone, so I haven't really made a video in a little bit, so I thought that I would just do a whole bunch today because I have a lot to show you. Uh, this one is going to be what I'm reading now and a kind of mini review of a book that I finished. And then I have one, two, three other videos I want to do today. I have a haul from the library slash um, some other things, and then I have another mini haul. So, cause I think I'm going to do a library haul and then things I've gotten from people or I've bought. And then I have a video haul slash mini reviews. So without much further ado, I will tell you what me and Sarah are reading right now. Sarah, I'll go with her first, is reading Warp, which is book one. I don't know, I guess in the Warp series, and it's called The Reluctant Assassin. It's um, by, I don't know how to, what his exact name is. Eon Colfer, I think that's how you say his name. It's a person that wrote the Artemis Fowl series. Uh, apparently, this is semi-new. Oh, it's from 2013, so that's not that new. Um, but she loved the Artemis Fowl series, and so she picks this one up. She says she likes it so far. She's not that far into it, though. Um, but she says it's really good, so that's what she's reading right now. Right now, I am reading... I gotta like find room for this stuff. Right now, I am reading The Program by Suzanne Young. I'm about halfway through it right now. You can't really see it. I'm about halfway through it right now. Um, I absolutely love it. I have started reading this before. I read it um, down in Florida, and I just didn't get through it, and so I actually started to pick it up, and I actually am really, really enjoying it now. I'm already on to part two, which everyone says that part one is kind of just one of those things you just have to get through until you get to part two, and then everything happens, so I'm really excited now that I'm on part two. Um, but I'm reading that right now, and then I'm also reading Geek Tastic Story from the Nerd Herd. Um, this is a collect. It's pretty big, but it's a collection of short stories from a lot of different YA authors like um, Scott Westerfield, uh, David Levison, John Green, Libba Bray, Cassandra Clare, Holly Black, Barry Liga. Um, just a whole diff different bunch of people have put in short stories and or comics. Because I know, I believe, after every short story, there's a little comic in there, too. And it's just a whole lot of nerdy, geeky kind of thing. So I'm kind of reading one story at a time. And then on to my mini haul, or mini review. Uh, I got this book yesterday, I think. Yeah, it's called Very Good Lives by J.K. Rowling. And it is uh, The Fringe Benefits of Failure and the Importance of Imagination. And it's very, very small because this is actually... Did she go to Harvard? Yes, she was invited to do the commencement speech at Harvard University, and so she kind of just put it together as a book. And so I read it last night in, like, less than an hour because it's not, like, it has a drawing on every page and then just a little bit, so it's not really hardly anything. Um, but I really, really enjoyed this. I'm go I believe I gave it five stars on Goodreads. I absolutely loved this. It was very insightful and kind and I love the way she talks and I could definitely like hear her as I was reading the book and it was one of those things where it showed me a different way to look at a lot of things. And because it says part of it is like the benefit benefits of failure. And I'm very big on that I cannot fail anyone. I hate failure. Like, it is one of my downfalls. And so reading this kind of gave me a different look on it. And it was really good. If you like J.K. Rowling and you like her, the way she talks, definitely pick this up. Like I said, you can get it done in less than an hour. There's hardly, I don't want to say there's hardly anything in it, but compared to all of her other books, this is nothing for her. Oh, and there goes my phone. But, um, but yeah, so definitely pick this up. I give it a five out of five stars. I wish there was more, but obviously since it was just a commencement speech, it's not going to be that long. But if you do not like J.K. Rowling, I would still give it a try. You never know. You might like this. Um, but yeah, it was really good. I hope to own this one day because it's one of those just good books that you need to own. 
But yeah, so that's everything that I'm reading and Sarah's reading. If you have any questions, comments, anything, leave them in the just uh, in the comments below. Also, what are you guys reading today? Are you um, finishing up? Or no, did it already finish up? It was last week. The whole library readathon. I was totally supposed to do that, and then it's just stress ball hit me in the face. But what are you guys reading this weekend? I want to know. I'm trying to read some of the newer books lately, and so I would love to hear what you guys are reading. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys.